Okay, here's another one where we're going to be using these special limits. Now for this, we see three different things on top and we have one thing on the bottom. A common technique that you're going to see coming up a lot in calculus is breaking fractions up. So if you have only one thing on the bottom, what you want to do is break this up into three different fractions. So we're going to do limit as theta goes to zero. We do theta squared over three theta minus theta over three theta plus sine theta over three theta. So breaking it up into three different fractions, you're, you're allowed to do that as long as there's no plus or minus happening in the bottom. If there's a plus or minus, you can't do it, but in this case, you're taking three multiplied by theta. That's considered one term, so that's why you're able to write it up, break it up that way. Now, if I simplify it, I'm going to get, uh, for this one, one theta will cancel out from the bottom, and you're going to get theta over three. This one you're just going to get a one-third, and this other one over here we can't do anything with to cancel it. So we're just going to leave it just like that. It's going to be sine of theta over three theta. Now, I'm going to put zero in. Now the first two, all you have to do is um, basically I plug zero in here. The first two I can take care of that. This one over here, uh, what I want to do is I want to separate this and write it uh, differently. So I'm going to do th limit theta goes to zero theta over three minus one-third plus one-third times sine theta over this theta. Why did I do that? Because you want to get sine theta over theta by itself because then we know for sure the limit of that's going to be a one. Now I'm going to apply the limit to each one of these things separately. This is basically using law, uh, the uh, limit properties tell you that you can do that. So I'm going to do limit as theta goes to zero of theta over three. And then I'm going to do limit theta goes to zero of one third and then plus. When I apply limit here, the one third can actually come on the outside. So I'm going to write it this way and just leave the sine theta over theta um, by itself. So each of these I'm applying separately. If I put a zero into this one, 0 over 3 is just going to be 0. Next, for this one here, uh, if I, I'm only going to get 1 third. There's, not, there's nothing to plug in here. I don't have any thetas to plug anything into, so I'm just going to end up with 1 third. And then for this, I get 1 third and then times this limit here I can apply separately as well. Now that one is just this limit here. That's going to be 1. So I get 0 minus 1 third plus 1 third. That's all going to cancel out and give you zero. So that would be the answer for the entire limit. As theta goes to zero of this particular function, all of it's going to end up going to zero. That would be the y value.